What's up, y'all? Um, this is going to be a little offline stream here. I'm working on um, this new enemy that is a thief, comes and steals your items, and then goes back to her lair. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I stand here, she'll walk up, see the footprints, steals an item, shows what item she steals, and then she walks off. She appears on many of the screens near a certain area, and um, she so she has kind of like a central area basically. And when you go back to that central area, which is actually here, um, this is a spoiler alert. Um, this is where you you'll be able to find a hidden boss. So um, the hidden boss is this thief here, and let's see if yeah. So cool. So um, so the, the thing is, to unlock the thief boss fight, this is a hidden boss fight you'll be able to do here at this big sphere. Um, you need two items. So you need to be able to meditate, and then you also need super bombs. So you meditate, it reveals like a crack in this big sphere, and then you use um, kill bombs, and there it's able to destroy the sphere. And destroying the sphere. Um, hold on. Destroying the sphere basically opens up her, this is her lair, basically she hides out in here inside this sphere, she's got all her items and stuff in there, I don't know what this thing is, whether it's like some teleport to some other big place or something like that, basically she just, um, by cracking open this sphere, it unlocks the boss fight to fight her, so that's what I'm going to work on right now, I'm probably not going to talk much. Just gonna work and um, get in the zone here. So, um, yeah, without any further ado. What I did there is just add a foe that has blank, no foes in it. So it just makes it so there's no foes on the screen. She just keeps on getting hit by a jib shield there. Okay. So, the trick to getting all this to happen Okay, so what I'll do first is I'll make it so um, you can use just a super bomb. It doesn't even depend on the, the meditation yet, but you can use a super bomb to... Oh, wow, I just noticed something. Hmm, what are these things? The shadow isn't moving. Oh, it has interpolate. Huh, I wonder why the shadow's not moving. Oh well. Not too big of a deal. Probably need that file though. Okay, so to make this thing open up with, gosh, I might as well make this a data. Uh, not yet.
Okay, so I already have the, have the flask. If I have the flask, this is the, the item you'll get when you beat the boss. Okay, cool. So this is this is the state that it'll be in if you've already defeated this enemy. And hmm.
Alright. Get rid of the enemies. This is now in a state where we beat the uh, we beat the boss. We got the item. Alright, so there. We got kind of like the end done and the beginning done. The beginning is, you know, seeing the thief when you're there and you don't really know what she is or what you probably have no clue she is a hidden boss, but Okay, so now basically I need to make it so the sphere opens up. I could use a story element. Let me think. I'm thinking if I should use a story element for this or not. Um, story element. If the super bomb is exploding. Remove the sphere. Spawn the thief boss. Yeah, that might actually work fine. It'll be similar to um, Vel's actions.
I have no idea if any of this will work. Oops. No name, no big sphere. Here we go. Okay, it locked the exits. It didn't do the boss roar. Oh, apparently it's playing the boss music. Oh. Okay, so I don't know if it spawned the thief boss or what. Maybe I need this. Might actually be there, but I can't see her. Getting started. This is kind of like to start with. Once we have a fight. 
Explosions not happen. Oh, that's a common mistake. I do that all the time. Okay, oh, we need some delay. About three seconds.
kind of works. You know, in general. get the after boss there so I'm trying to get the after boss music to play where does it do that Hmm. It didn't zoom in. It definitely got to this function. Data explosions. We just need to do this custom.
So after phase item in did not play music. for the hidden boss kind of working. All right, next things to do, we'll do a little check-in and then um, make it so meditate skill is required as well. And then um, start making the boss fight more fun. And then lastly, make all the art cool. Oh, got a better way to do that. Instead of checking that twice, I can go um, and create the sphere tiles. Oh, no, wait, the tiles already created. Okay, wait, well, actually, yeah, let's make this more cohesive. So it does this um, before it creates the tiles. Yeah, we don't need to do that there, we can do it here. All right, and then area creation. Let's 
Let's make sure that works. So doing it this way, basically I'm not checking for flask full and flask empty too. Twice, I'm well, doing that once. Makes the code more cohesive. Okay, so we have a thief, it means we have a sphere. If I don't have flask full or empty, or if I do have empty, then there should be no sphere and no thief. Cool. Okay, so how to trigger this? Oh, damn it, it keeps packing the repo every time. Okay, now let's get it so you have to use meditate to basically make the sphere 
vulnerable. Which means we either need like an is or a has, or an exists. Yeah, it exists would be pretty easy. All right, for, in order for this to be a successful meditation, it has to use one of these story system actions, I think. Oops. Ah.
So the steel overrode the hero's animation. Actually, run actions, do they? Or do, oh, wait, do they? Phase one. Ah, there. Okay, just to confirm this, let's find the sphere. And set its render opacity. just so it confirms that it actually happens. And we also need to spawn one of those um, Fear cracks. I could change the name to Spear Cracked. Ah, that's kind of a cool way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm changing the name of Sphere Crack means the just needs that and this. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. 
Alright, time to debug this, figure out what happened, why this didn't work. Uh, what I'm doing right there is just making this function debuggable. More debuggable, I guess. More debugger friendly. It's kind of a habit I've gotten into over the last five years. Making code like really easy to debug. By doing that, by putting that continue statement there, um, I just made it so I could set a breakpoint for the can run. Otherwise, before I couldn't set a breakpoint. And I would have had to gone through every single node, clicking through blah, 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 going through this huge list of story elements to see if that works. So that's why that I just did that. See, so I can set it, I can like go continue to here. And there, now we've found a node without having to loop through. How many nodes were there to look at? Story nodes? I had to go on through 44 of those to find. Cool. So can run. Why is that not working? Or is it working? Let's see if it is. No. Okay, now we gotta pay attention. Why it can't run that. Because you know what, did I just add some predicates that were just crazy? We've got pattern sphere, we've got Z. Oh, it's trying to spawn. Because we have a spawn here, the way the spawns work, it requires testing for a fixed delta. I guess we could just pass a delta in. So it doesn't count those as zero.
Change it just so I don't break everything else. I'm only going to change Kusanagi's action. Spear crack missing input. Oh, we tried to spawn a spear. Oh, God, I don't even need to spawn spear. No actions. Ah, well, it's, now we don't even need this then.
か。I'm gonna go ahead and create an entity now for this because I'm gonna need several animations for this sphere now. And so it basically needs to become a full-fledged entity and this was added to the game so long ago before I even had components loading for, from data that I need to basically go to this function and rework it a little bit so it uses data. Uh, well, I gotta get going here. Um, so, but anyways, my goals for tonight are to get that sphere um, so it cracks, and then make the boss fight fun and do some art and stuff. So, um, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all next time.